Hey guys, and welcome back to OpenTTD version 13 with me, Time and Tactics. We're looking at Wartown, where we have our bus stop. We have a road going up here we built, and we have two buses going all the way over to Nennington Central and in Nennington. And I think there's a lot of people waiting everywhere, right? There was one thing I found out looking at the wiki, and that is, uh, well, since we have two buses, we can make sure that they have the same order. Right now I've done that manually. If you go up here, you can see here, or to, well, bus number one and bus number two. If you check their orders, here's number two and here's number one. They're doing the same thing. But if I were to change one, the other one's not going to change. And in this case, I probably do want to have them do the same thing. If I change one, then let the other one follow along. So let's change number two. Well, let's set up both of them to be shared. So we'll pick number two here and we'll say go to. And now if I control click on the actual other bus, let's do that. Now we have shared orders here. And you can see that by the little button here showed up. So if I click on that, we'll see we have two of them here, Nennington Wartown 1 and Nennington Wartown 2. So that's going to be, I think, pretty handy. Let's go with that. And I think what I can do, I can get probably one more bus. We have about 100,000 pounds. If I were to clone a vehicle, if I clone it, it will copy the order. But if I control click on the bus, it will actually make it a shared order so now we have another bus in here and I think that one and we can check it by going here I think it's part of the whole thing now yep there's number three bus number three is gonna come out too we're gonna go ahead and get it going on the road there we'll start it up just make sure it comes out and then we're gonna do something new let's go ahead uh, what is this F1 yeah there we go. So now we have three buses. I think that's going to be much better, right? Now, June 12th here. If you look at the map, and by the way, let's go look at the map now. Let's go check out the map of the world. We are down. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but if you go and select that. Yeah, now here you can see we are right there. That is what we have. That's all in the whole world. But and there are two. Well, let me show you here an Easter map. There are two things you want to work with here, and that is the oil well right there blinking and the oil refinery if we connect them and then send the products from the refinery into the cities that should help us out and i want to use the trains for that let's see if i can figure that out so we have them here's the refinery obviously I haven't produced anything and here we have the oil well so i want to take it from here over to the refinery and then from the refinery we'll have goods we'll send it over to wartown and i'm thinking i could what i could do is i can drop it off here that could be a truck depot and then that truck depot i will say maybe i'll just say if i if i just drop them off here they're going to be picked up by the town and they're going to use it there but i can do transfer i think we'll see if i can get that advanced right away but anyway how do we do this now um we're gonna to have to have a stop here so let's go and go to the railroad track yep that's good railroad construction and we only have regular railroad we don't have the other ones so we'll go for the a train depot no not a train depot we can actually build the actual railroad first this one the station right yeah so how many tracks do we want this is one track we have a platform length of three that length of the platform matters the the more cars you have on the train the more important it is do we want to get i don't know how many we need actually you can see i have the coverage area on otherwise it's hard to tell I know though if I get close here it should be good do you want to go something like this put it there so we make it to maybe four should I make it two let's make it one and I'll see if I can make it, figure it out later to if I need to enhance it put it there okay that worked great news so now if I unclick this here I think I can I uh, right click it no I can't so there so Lemping Way on Sea East, that's the station, and it's a train symbol, so it's only a train here. Now I need to be hooking that up to a train station here. I think I'm going to do that. Put the station in first, then we'll do the actual, the actual train or the train track. And I think maybe put it right. Hmm, I should have put it on the other side, maybe easier to see. Because what I'm thinking is here. How about this? We'll put it so it goes around like this. Although, we can send it over to Lemping Way as well. We can do that anyway. Let's do a little track here. So we'll have... 
yeah let's just try it let's just try it so we'll take uh, one track we'll do four pr platform length should we put it on this side it's gonna be a little bit weird to go around yeah probably not it's probably okay put it there so that's 2000 if you hold down shift you can see how much it's gonna cost you and then one more right because I need to drop it off here I want to rotate it over to this direction what if I put it right here ah uh, then I'm gonna have to I'm going to have to get rid of that uh, road right there this one but the coverage area is going to be is it gonna be important not really well, hmm, where do we put it? What's the best spot? We're gonna put it close by, but you don't wanna remove the road if you can avoid it, but I don't think I can avoid it here if I wanna have a good setup. We'll see how mad they're gonna get if I put it here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, they're not mad now, but the, that road's gonna be gone, right? Wartown Central, excellent. So now we have that. Let's see if I can do the road. The way to do it is you have uh, four different angled the railroad tracks here or you can use the automatic one the automatic one i think is easier if you're a little bit of a beginner here you can see how they can go every which way but if you are fast there are shortcut keys here one two three four see that i'm pressing one two three four it's probably faster to do it that way if you know what you're doing which i maybe don't yet so there is that as far as making it easier to actually place a track, let's go ahead and go to settings here, or the cog anyway, and go down to transparency options. And here we can say to, I think I'm right here, yep, transparency for trees. So if we go ahead and select that, okay, now I can see a little bit easier where we're gonna go. So we're gonna go, I guess from here, do we put one track? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to have two tracks, right? If I go around, let's say I put a track here all the way there, that's gonna be one, right? Let's make it easy first, right? We just make one track, have a train go around, pick it up and drop it off. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so now we're gonna see here if they're gonna like this or not. So I could use this one here. Let me see here. Uh, what's the angle? We're gonna go this way. Yeah, this way. We want them to come up. They're gonna come this way, right? And then go that way. Okay, so let's see if we go here. Oh wait, that is actually a crossing. Okay, I didn't know they had that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Now, the train's gonna come up here. Yeah, I guess that's fine, right? There, and then I can go back. If I press the key, we want something that goes this way. We wanna go one, so there. Yeah, if you're fast, I imagine you can do it. Pretty good, right? So, um, yeah, so if I could go down here. Yeah, okay, that works. And then, yeah, I'm slow. I know I'm slow here, but uh, we'll go that. Wait, oh, you don't want to do, I don't think you want to do too much of a bend, right? So if we go like that, you don't want to go more than 45 degrees, I think, at a time for the entire length of the train. So let's go here, uh, there. Now we can turn. And then if I turn again here. Yeah, we go like that. How about that? You can see we're just spending all the money now, but that's fine. Is this gonna work? Oh, see, I can't do it here. The angle here is bad. I have to go, hmm, can't go down there. So now I'm in a bad shape here. So you can always use the bulldoze tool, but that's not ideal, is it? Uh, but okay, we'll use the bulldoze now. We get money back, okay, we do get money back. So I'm gonna go, actually, I'm using the non-automatic one here. Now we go up here. I imagine after a while you know where these are. There, yeah, we'll go like that. I think that's gonna work. And we go in here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that looks good. Looks very good, I like it. So we're gonna come from this direction, go here, around. Okay, now let's go up here. And I'm just pressing the keys. That would be four to get a straight one. Where is it at? Um, so basically, they're gonna go all the way back here to Lenthing Way on C. How's this gonna work, right? They're gonna come from here. We're gonna have a station here. Go around, drop it off there, then pick up anything that we have there and drop it off there and then go all the way back. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go for that for now. Yeah, this is, this is a lot of fun. 
this is fun. Okay, let me see here now. So if I'm just going to go back, instead what I'll do is I'll go from here. Um, I got to learn which one is way to, because one is this way. So if we go, no, we don't want to do that. We don't want to go right away. We're going to go out a little bit so we don't get that sharp turn, I think. Yeah, let's not do that. So we'll go here. I know I'm spending money when I'm doing it. We get like 72 pounds back. Um, where is it? It's one. Okay. <laughs> it's one. Let's see here. If I go like this, and then we'll turn now. And then we'll turn back in. Uh, no, wait, not yet. Yeah, I know it's slow, but uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. There. And don't make too sharp turns here. Um, what do we do? Well, well, I say we go back here and lay out this track. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll go back in and, uh, wait a minute. Let's, we'll do one more. Nope, one more. Nope, one more. Actually, one more. Let's go here and see where we meet up with them. And we minimize the problems that we're going to have. There, now we can start here, go around. Yeah, I think it's going to work. Okay, so then we come back on the return trip. And let me go ahead and draw that out. Okay, I'm finishing it up here. So there we go. Now we have the track. That's not all, though, I think, because we're going to have a... We need to have a station or a depot where we have our trains. Uh, I think I can... It doesn't really matter, does it? I'll put it here. It needs to be right next to it, obviously. And then we can select a train that we want that to be servicing this here. Just like the buses, right? So what do we have to choose from in 1935? We have the Kirby Paul Tank Steam, the Cheney Jubilee Steam, and Ginzu A4. So the Kirby Paul, what, what does we do here? Um, speed 64 kilometers per hour. I imagine that's important. Power would be like how much we can pull, how much it weighs is, yeah, I guess that's going to affect how fast it's going to go. Um, max tractive effort. Hmm, I don't wonder if that it has to do with getting up to speed. Running cost is here. Okay. Reliability, 97%. The Cheney Jubilee. Let me just look here. Oh, way faster. What's the price for this one? 11,000. The Jubilee, 20. But the speed. Would you really... Oh, look at that power. 1,000 horsepower. Much heavier. Running cost is 2,600 a year. Only 1,100 here. And then the Ginzu. Even more money. Should we just go for the Kirby Paul thing? We'll go for the cheap one first time. Let's do that. So one there. And what are we transporting? Well, here's going to be the interesting part, right? Do we have this one train take both the oil and the goods, right? And transport that. Maybe we'll do that for the, at the beginning. Yeah. I, I'm not saying this is going to be super efficient, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. So now we need new vehicles again. So we're going to transport oil the way I see it. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. Oil tanker, we can do that. 1,500. 30,000 liters of oil. We produced last month 63,000. Should we take two? And I don't know how long it will take to get around. Maybe two is good though to get. Let's get two there. So it hooks it up right away. And then from here we do goods. So that's a goods car. 25 crates of goods. We don't know how many we need. I imagine two. Probably not the best idea to have it haul around both. But we'll go with that, right? Okay, now that we know what we're going to do there, let's select it. There's train number one. This is our combined... Let me see if I can... Where is that? There. What do we call this one? Oil goods. That's just a product. We'll call it Wartown. I'm saying... Uh, I'll probably change the names here later. Uh, oil to goods. Let's call it that. We'll, we'll change it later when I have a better grasp on how things work. Okay, so now, as far as the orders, though, we can select, go to Lemping Way, and here's what it's going to come into. It's going to be interesting to see. What do we actually do? Full load any cargo. That's the one we have right now. Load if available, full load any cargo. Load if available. Now, we want to full load any cargo. We don't want both of them to be full. As long as one gets full, and that would be oil, we're good to go. Yep, I think that's good. 
So we'll take that. And then the second stop will be here in Wartown Woods. And this one... Oh, but Left Anyway is second. Okay, yeah. So we have them in order. So there are... Okay, Wartown Woods first. Um, We can't really do that, can we, right? I want to make sure... Can I switch it around? Let me go ahead and get rid of this one. Delete that button. I'm going to go here, and now we say go to. That's what I want to do. There we go. Okay, now, if I select this one, I can say, we'll load any cargo here as well, and then unload all. Ah, uh, wait. Unload all. Unload if accepted. Right, if accepted. We don't want to unload goods here, right? If they haven't taken all the goods over at the other spot. Okay, unload. Uh, I can't change that. Near end. Oh, wait. Okay, here we go. So, unload and leave empty. No, we don't want to do that. No loading. Okay, we're saying, oh, full load any cargo. Okay, full load any cargo. Oh, so, okay. We can say full load any cargo. And full load any cargo. We'll see what it does, if it does the way I'm thinking. And then it's going to go back the lengthing way. But we don't want to do that. We want to select end of orders and go up to Wartown Central. And let's select that as our third stop here. And what do we do here? Unload all. Unload if accepted. That's the default behavior, I guess. Unload and leave empty. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's see if that works. Let's see if this works. I'm not 100% sure. So now what should happen, and we'll see, is going to pick up the oil here and go over there and drop it off and wait for the goods and then get the goods and drop it off there and then go back. Let's see. We'll see if it does that. So we have one vehicle that's here. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Here we go. Now, let's uh, let's start it up. Here it comes. The train. Excellent. It's going to be a slow one. But it's looking good, right? It's looking good. It's looking good to me, anyway. I'll be getting a fence here, too. So let's see. We can look at it here, I think. Empty, empty... There's probably nothing here right now, right? No, 4,000 liters of oil. Oh, that worked. Okay. So one of them is working now. It's going to wait to fill up completely, I think. 9,000 liters. Yep, exactly. Okay, so that's good. We can leave that there if we want to. And then we can go back over here. Let me look at the vehicles. How are they doing? Are they carrying the people? What do we have? 19,000 now? Yep. Yeah, we're, we're doing well here, I think. We were probably a little bit low. 112. We can probably get another bus. Should we do that? Should we do a clone? We'll do a clone, and I'll control click. There, we'll have it uh, jump out. There. Okay, keep going. And there is that one. 29,000. Was it 31,000? No, 30,000. Okay, of oil. So we're waiting there to get that. So we profit is, is not positive here. It's negative. So that's looking pretty good. Let's go back down to it. So it's sitting here. It's not very efficient, obviously. You know, having one. And never mind signals and stuff like that. We'll see if we can do that as well. 56,000 liters of oil last month. 20,000. I'm going to see if it leaves here. We did say any. You know, load when anything is full. And that would be one type, I think, of of product. And that would be the oil oil here in the front. 4,000 more. Let's see. It's going. It is going. Okay, good. Excellent. So now it's going to go around here. And by the way, if you want to speed it up, you can hold down tab. Oh, here's total cargo. Okay, nice. Capacities. Okay. Hmm. There's a lot of information here. Anyway, going over here now. If you hold down tab, yeah, you can speed it up quite a bit. We're coming in here now. What are we going to do here? We're going to drop off that. Yeah, we are dropping it off. We are dropping it off. And goods right away. Okay. And we gain money from it too. Dropping off to all. Okay, 16 crates of goods. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there, right? We're just waiting for the last load. There was some there, I guess. There was some already there. 
accepts oil. Okay, yeah, we can look at that. But it accepts oil. What does this one accept? Does it accept goods? I don't know. Um, what is it at? There. Passengers, mail, and goods. Oh, yeah, it does accept that. And mail, too. We could do mail. What about this one over here? Accepts nothing, right? No, nothing. Okay, so we're on the right track. 35% loaded? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what we're waiting for here. It might take a while. 68% transported. Oh, it had... Last month it was produced. Okay. So we had some there. Okay. So it's going to have to go... Well, what we can do is we can speed it up a little bit. This is the train itself, right? Yeah, we can do that. And if I speed it up... 16 crates still. You know what happened here? Let's pause. There's not enough oil. We offloaded the oil. And that's all we can get. And now it's waiting. It shouldn't be waiting. Here's our first problem. So we shouldn't tell it. We should not tell it here. To full load any cargo. We'll instead say. Load if available. Yeah, take what you got and go. Only the oil we're going to wait for. So if I press F1, now it's going to go. Okay, good. Yep, that's what I thought. So 25 crates there and 16 crates. Not bad. Ah, look at that. That looks good. In the meantime, while that's going, what do we have? 139. Look at that. They're just booming here. Even though we have a couple of buses going. And they are sharing it. I think they're sharing it. Oh, we're coming in here to the station. I want to see the station. And we can see here what we're doing. Uh, 25 crates, 16 crates. It should work. And then we're going to take off, right? And go down to the oil wells again, I think. First train arrives. November 28, 1935. We're dropping it off. It's empty. Yep, it's going down to pick it up. What do we have down here now? 155,000 liters of oil. You know what we're going to do. We want to send it to the depot. Let's do that. Can I send it to the depot? How do I send it to the depot? Um, <laughs> there, here. Send train to depot. Perfect. Because, here's what I'm thinking. We'll give it another one of those oil tankers, right? So we have 90,000. Let's see if it goes in there. We're going to have to send it in here. Yep, it's going in there. Good. Let's do that. Now it's in a depot. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the... Now we'll look here. There. Now we'll buy... We'll buy another vehicle. And the vehicle we're buying is another oil tanker. There. Now that looks good-ish. Can I move it? Right-click for information. Hold control to make... Yeah. Can I go uh, there? Oh, that looks better, right? Okay, now we got it. Okay, good. So now you can head on back out, right? Yep, let's go. Go this way. Yep, good, good, good. Oh, well, how are we doing money-wise? Not good, right? We're down to 43,000. Ooh. Well, hopefully this will make it here. So we're going to come in, and what do we have on the train? It's empty there. It's going to pick up 90,000 worth, right? And we have our buses. Well, they're trying to pass each other there. Okay. And then we're going to drop it off here. So this town should be in pretty good shape, I think, right? See, 90,000 now. Local authority is saying what? Uh, good. Yep, that's what I thought. Passengers, mail, and goods. Yep, that's excellent. Yep, the train is going. I don't know how many we can actually, how many locomotive, how many cars we can pull. But let's see if we can pick up a full load now, if that's going to be enough. Now, we can actually try to have two of them going at the same time. That's going to take some signals, I think. We'll see if I can do that. Anyway, here we go. We're getting into the station. Wartown Woods. What do we have? Everything is looking good there. Emptying it out. Loading crates. We said just load crates, you know. 25, 25, yeah. Total cargo, 50, and we have 50. 
So this worked out pretty well. That's exactly what we want. Now it's going to go back up there and drop it off. I think that's what I want to see. How much money do we get from doing this? We can look at the balance sheet as well. There we go. We're coming into the station. We're going to see little green numbers floating around. Oh, I should turn on the... Let's turn on the transparency options again. Where are they at? There. Well, I want to see the trees, right? I don't know. Anyway, what do we get here? F1. We're dropping it off. Income 1,030. Now, if I could, I wouldn't mind having a little bus stop here. I mean, bus stop, a truck stop. And we can then cart it around and send it up there. I mean, we could do use a train too, but it would be kind of fun to use the truck. So now we're going back down again. Let's look at the balance sheet here then. So this is now 1936, right? March. Last year, we can't really count. We spent so much on new construction. But right now, we are positive. 3,975. We have a loan though. Yeah, so maybe getting a second, a second train, would that do it? How much do we have in storage here? Um, that's that one. Here, 135,000. Well, we can probably do another one, but that means that we'd have to put in some signals. These here, yeah, I would have to figure that out. Um, how you do that, which I think I know you how you do it. You just block it off and say, wait here until it's clear. But you have to have a, a couple of signals, I imagine, there to make it work. And then really the platforms, yeah, maybe have two tracks. But anyway, we will uh, continue with that. We'll see you that next time, guys. So come back then. We'll play more of uh, OpenTTT.